I'm going to demonstrate two different techniques in Power BI and Power Automate. Number one, to extract some data and then save it as a CSV file in a SharePoint folder. And number two, grab a measure from a data set and then add that measure to a table row in an Excel file. So we can just extract and capture the data from a Power BI data set. Let's go. So let's just recap on what we're going to do here. I've got a published Power BI data set. It's got a measure called last refresh date time. It's got a little table of data here. And the first data flow I'm going to do is going to run and it's going to capture this last refresh time. Okay. And it's just going to add it to this table here. So this will be the time that I actually run the flow and this will be the last refresh time. And then the second thing I'll do is actually export an extract of data and save it as a CSV file into SharePoint. Okay, so here we go. I'm going into Power Automate, okay? Go via the nine dots and Power Automate. And I'm gonna go to My Flows, where you can just go basically straight into New Flow or Create. I'm gonna create a um, scheduled cloud flow. Um, now, annoyingly, I would like this technique just to work and be triggered by a Power BI data set having finished refreshing, but there is no Power Automate trigger. I've seen a couple of people post different sorts of techniques. I think for me currently, the simplest one is you actually trigger the refresh via Power Automate itself, or you could just schedule the Power Automate to run. Don't trigger the refresh. Do that in another way, but just have the, the flow run on a schedule, you know, every 20 minutes or however often you need it. Okay, so here we go. We'll call this um, flow demo. Okay, and we're going to run it. We're going to repeat it, not every minute. We'll do it daily. Um, we can edit this um, in a second, or we could say we could run it uh, every week, and we can actually pick which days we want to run it. Okay, but I'll say daily, and you can actually edit this to create other times later. That's not the important bit. Right, so we've got the recurrence. All right, um, I haven't got quite got to grips with this new user interface, but let's see how we go. I might end up turning off this new designer, but it's going okay every day at, and then you can pick the different times a day. So I want to pick, um, let's say, 9 a.m. This is when I want my Power BI data set to refresh. Okay, You can pick up to eight times if you're working on a pro workspace. All right, you can put half hours and stuff in as well. Cool. So that's the first bit. Then we'll say add an action. We'll search for Power BI. Here we go. We can go see more. And somewhere down here will be refresh a data set. The workspace I'm looking for is Wins Demo Workspace. The data set is the data set query test. That's the one up here that I just showed you. All right, so we're good. Then what I want to do is say, I want to actually um, query that data set once it's finished refreshing. So again, Power BI, go to see more. Okay, run a, run a query against a data set. Awesome. I'm not too sure on the, what the impact is of the JSON one. I think that's relatively new. I might be wrong about that. Okay, so I can go here so Win Demo Workspace, Dataset Query. Okay, and this is the one. What do we put in it? How do we extract what we need? Well, this first demo, I'm going to actually go and grab a table of data from that Power BI report. So to get the query, it's actually a DAX query, which is something we're not really that used to normally. So I'm going to go into Excel. All right. And I'm going to say data 
get data from Power Platform from Power BI. Or you can say insert pivot table from Power BI does the same thing. I'm running Office 365, I'm on the current channel. I think this is on the enterprise channel of 365 as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is in Excel 2021 or earlier. I don't think so. Okay, I, th there's my data query test. And I'm going to insert a table. Now, the beauty of this is you can now build the query you need just with this user interface. So I am going to actually pull in, I could pull in separate columns. I'm going to bring in the whole table. I don't need that measure. Okay, so my table actually had a column in it called last refresh as well. So there we go, there's my data. I could apply a filter if I needed to. Um, you've got a few options in here, okay. All good, so insert table. Now here's my table. I wanna actually find out what the query is. So I'm gonna to go to properties and click on this little icon. It's a bit convoluted going this way, definition. This is the query down here that I need. Okay, that's the query. So control A, control C to copy it all. And now we go back into the browser. Okay, and where it says query text, I can paste that in. Awesome. Okay. So once I've got that, then what I need to do is create a table with that data. So I am going to go and click here, add an action. So create CSV. There we go, create a CSV table. Beautiful. Uh, array to create table from. If I click on the little um, dynamic button, it sh I should be able to grab the first table rows. All right, now I just want to create a file from this and save it to SharePoint. So I'm going to add an action, create SharePoint file. Let's have a look. Create file, SharePoint. Great. Okay, I've got to go and navigate to my A demo folder. Uh, the folder path. Let's go here and find shared documents. Oh, actually, it's a bit further than that. So let's go shared documents, demos, Power Automate. Awesome. And the file name, I actually want to put like a timestamp, and I can never remember the actual code here. So I'm just going to go and copy this code from another little spot. All right, so all we're doing is concatenating the file, the start of the file name can be whatever you want. I'm calling it dataset export. And then UTC now, but using the format date time function to turn it into year, months and days and then .csv. Okay, and then the file content, little lightning bolt is the output. It's a bit annoying that these outputs, you know, refer to these things. They'd be nice if it had the same name. Um, all good. And then I'd just like to add an action and I'd like, you could do an email. I'm just going to go for notification, uh, mobile notification. That'll do. Um, notification message. You could change the wording in here. Uh, let's say this is updated. All right, so that's about it. Um, we can just try and test it out. So here's the, let me just save this. So here's the folder, um, AA demo. All right, here's one I did earlier, data set export 24, 19 September. So let me just go and run that flow. But essentially we've got the trigger for recurrence. So if we waited around, it would happen, but we've gone save. And we can now click test. I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to test the flow. All right, I had a start 
sort of again, um, because this query wasn't refreshing. And I think it's because I've refreshed more than eight times in a 24 hour period. So I had to change it to query data, oh, data set query test two. I also had to change the query in here to refer to test two. All right. So let's now try and test it, see if it runs. Run the flow, done. Let's see how this one goes. Now what you notice is I just took out that data set for just for testing purposes. I think the issue was that I had a extra space after the uh, word CSV here. So I think that's what's causing the issue. All right, so let's check it out. There we go, there's the file, awesome. And there's my data extracted, perfect. Okay, and then essentially the other one I wanted to show you was adding a record to this table here. So this table is called table tracker. It's inside this dataset query results file. All right, so Really, it's the, same, it's the same process. You create the CSV table, and then it's this step that's different. So let me just go into edit mode. Okay, I'd still have the refresh in there if I needed to. I could just run it like this. So rather than create a file, I'm actually going to add a new step instead, or I could even add another one. I could you know, add an action. So this one is a compose. I've actually got to grab out. Um, or let me let me just let me show you this. So update Excel um, or add a row. I think it's Excel add row. Add a row into a table. Okay. Now, I don't want this time, let me just delete the create a file step. I don't want that whole thing, okay? I don't want that. So all I want, let me just go back into my report here and go into here and say insert table. I am going to tick the measure, last refresh date. That's all I want. Insert. There it is. Uh, I'm going to go this way this time. Well, actually, I'm going to go, yeah, go right click, uh, table, external data properties. Click on that little icon, go to definition. Okay, there we go. That's it. Click OK. Go back in. Run a query. This time it's highlighting all this stuff. Oh, it's a bit on the bottom there I missed. Paste. So that's it. OK. And then I'll just add that and put in the location. Okay, we've done that. Then I just want to put in, so these are the two column names from the table. Okay, so it picks that up. There they are, date, time, and report. So that's already been picked up. So the date, time updated, again, I can use sort of the, the UTC now. Okay, I don't really need the concat bit. I don't need the CSV bit. Okay, and really, rather than putting it in this box, I should go expression and put it in there. That's more like it. And then for the report UTC, I'm just going to grab the output. This isn't quite going to be right. We'll see that in a second, but that'll do. So save. And let's test it out. You can hear my notification go off. Okay, so let's go take a look. 
Right, so it comes in like this. Now, I did a bit of chat GPTing to say how do I actually loaded a screenshot of this. How do I change it from this just to get this record? And it was essentially this. If I come in here, or oh, sorry, if I edit this, if I add another compose step, okay, data operation compose, and I come in here and I add an expression, and it's this little string here. Let me try and Okay, it's basically just grabbing, it's skipping a step, it's grabbing the item using first, it's splitting the string output on this element here. So let's just click OK. Um, and this one, if I, let's just rename this, extract just date and time. Okay, then I go into the add rower table and I change this output to extract just date and time output, save. Okay, I go test, save and test. Run the flow, done. And there's the result. All right, when you've done your flows, I would highly recommend that you share them with other people in your team or a security group or something like that so that other people can take over and run them and edit them when you leave. All right, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments and stay tuned for this. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.